What is going on guys? It is your boy Dylan. Today we've got an all new unboxing for you guys. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be fun. It is the brand new Apple HomePod. As you guys know, I've always been fascinated with the Amazon Spot, the Amazon Show, and the Amazon Dock. Right here what I have is the Amazon Show. Alexa, can you tell us what the HomePod is? A smart speaker from Apple. Who is Siri? Siri, Apple's virtual assistant and phone control interface. So guys, Apple took Siri from the phone and they packed it all into this beautiful HomePod. Let's check it out. That is it guys. That is the Apple HomePod. Oh, it smells, it smells new, it smells fresh, it smells like apple. It's got a really nice flush puffy top. Let's see what it is. Ooh, here we go, all this cables. Cable is covered in, ooh, wow, that's, that's quick. Let's get all this craziness out of the way. Here we go, pretty long cable, guys. It's got like a coated cloth. It's got some similar feeling to the coating that's on here. This is pretty much where you will see uh, Siri will appear. Let's get this HomePod started and see what it sounds like. See what else we've got in here. Stickers and just something about the HomePod and uh, the lovely Apple stickers. All right guys, now that we have a look at the HomePod, let's take a look at the setup process. You can see there's a little light that's spinning right there. You can see it. Perfect. So we've got that done. Here we go. We got the setup. I'm gonna say that's gonna be in my living room. Enable personal requests, not now. Transfer settings. Done. Hey Siri. Hmm? What can you do? You can ask me, hey Siri, tell me the news. Set a three minute timer and more. Let's try one. Hey Siri, who is Alexa? Just a sec. Alexa Internet Incorporated is an American company based in California that provides commercial web traffic data and analytics. It is a wholly hey, owned Siri, subsidiary stop. event. Hey Siri. What movies are in the theater? Just a moment. Here are some movies playing at theaters near you. Black Panther, Fifty Shades Freed, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, Maze Runner, The Death Cure, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Do you want to hear the next five of the movies? No. Alexa, what movies are in the theater? Here are some Here movies, are a few playing, movies in playing in theaters. Long Island City today. Fifty Shades Freed. Black Panther. And guys, as Peter you can Rabbit. see, Alexa is giving me a full visual of it. Alexa, stop. Hey Siri, play me a happy birthday song. Sorry, I couldn't find happy birthday in your music. If you have an Apple Music subscription. Alexa, play me happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy Alexa, birthday. Stop. Alexa, tell me a joke. A T Rex walks into a bar. The bartender says, Dang it, Earl, I told you to stop messing with that time machine. Don't get it. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. Let me think. Nope, can't think of one. You, hey Siri, do you not know any jokes? Let me think. Nope, can't think of one. Hey Siri, play Z100 on iHeartRadio. I can't play from my heart radio. Hey Siri, play Z100. Hey Siri, where's Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. Wisconsin is in the United States. Alexa, where's Wisconsin? Wisconsin is a U.S. state in the continental United States. It shares a Alexa, border stop. with Illinois. Alexa, 
Play me Z100 on iHeartRadio. Getting Z100 station from iHeartRadio. Alexa, stop. Hey Siri, play me Justin Bieber. Sure, here's some Justin Bieber. Can we, we can keep each other company? Hey Siri, stop. Alexa, play me Justin Bieber. Shuffling songs by Justin Bieber. As long as you love me. Alexa, stop. Guys, from what we can see is Siri's not as smart as Alexa. I'm starting to think that she's very limited. Guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the songs at 50% just so we can hear the volume difference. From what I can tell you off the bat, the HomePod sounds amazing. Um, but we're looking at $349 versus $179, sometimes it's $149 or even $229. The listed price is $229 for the Amazon show, but it's been selling for around $179. And if you're looking on certain specials, you can get them for $149. So this is almost two and a half times the price of this, which warrants a sound. Uh, let's see what the sound sounds like. Alright guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to switch it over to the HomePod and let's hear the difference. One, two, and three. I need to hear that. Man. Guys, that was a tall mood killer as soon as it went to the, the Echo Show. Let's now, so it's past the music test. Sucks at the jokes, so no jokes. The only thing I've been able to get so far is any music that's on my iPhone. It's only looking for Apple subscription to the Apple uh, Music, which kind of sucks because I can say Alexa plays Z100 and iHeartRadio, and Alexa will go there. Getting Z100 station from iHeartRadio. There we go. Alexa, stop. Do not want to get a copyright strike in that one. I'm going to probably cut that music. Guys, we're going to try something else. Um, we all know the Amazon show can make phone calls, so I'm going to ask them to call my cell phone. Hey Siri, call Dylan Chan. I wish I could, but I can't help you make calls on HomePod. No. Wait, you can't do calls? Hey Siri, call Ronaldo Chan. I can't help you make calls on HomePod. Sorry about that. Wait, what can you do? Alexa, call Dylan Chan. Alright guys, so what I can tell you about the HomePod, it's about it's about 6.8 inches high and 5.6 inches wide. It weighs five and a half pounds. When Apple released it, they did say it's a revolutionary new speaker. It has amazing sound. It has six microphones and seven tweeter arrays, which gives it amazing sound. It has a seamless mesh that sort of uh, runs around the HomePod and it's got built in an Apple A8 uh, chip. Now, and a high, uh, an amazing subwoofer, guys. You can feel the vibration. The subwoofer takes up pretty much half the HomePod, and the, uh, the seven tweeters are pretty much at the bottom. 
The speakers are great, but if you don't have an iPhone and you have a Samsung Note, this is not gonna work great for you because it does need to connect to Apple Music. All right guys, so five and a half pound, seven inches high, six inches wide. It is, for me, it's not a smart speaker. It can, uh, it can do the same thing my Amazon show does. It's not something I see will be replacing the show anytime. It is, you know, I could see spending the price if you're looking for a real high-end speaker in, the, in your apartment, but I've got a Bose system. I really need something that I can ask quick questions. I can say, let's make a call. I can have a digital screen where I can see my family. So my, my decision here is the Amazon Show wins. My Amazon Spot, that wins too, except for the dot. This outbeats the dot by a landslide, but the dot is only $39 versus this is $349. It's almost 90% more than the dot. If you're looking for a high-end speaker that you can ask basic questions to, that you don't care to make a phone call from, and you want to turn on your lights, then feel free to spend the money on the HomePod. My recommendation is get yourself an Amazon show. It can do a lot more. It can give you recipes. It can, uh, it can show you videos. It can show you trailers. The sound quality isn't great. I would love to see Amazon come out with, you know, an Amazon show that have some amazing speakers, even if they boost the price point a little higher. Um, but my recommendation right now is the Amazon show. And that is final. Hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. Siri. You suck because you're not a smart speaker. But, but. <laughs> okay, as clearly as we can see, stick with the Amazon show if you're looking for a smart device for your home. It can do a lot more than the HomePod can. I would love to see Apple open up some of the features. From what I was told that you could get two HomePods and add it next to your TV and bring, you know, bring, enhance the sound. The good thing is, the HomePod sound adjusts to the room, just to adjust to the room scale. So if you're in a smaller room, it will adjust to that. If you have it next to a wall, it will adjust to that and it will push the sound forward. But other than that, it's pretty much just a speaker with a very few things that it can do. Anyway, this is a quick unboxing. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's an unboxing slash review. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Ciao.